been it's been a ah oh geez like eight months or so <laughs> since I've done this um lots of lots of changes uh hopefully going to be able to do this more frequently from here on out but um just giving it a go tonight hopefully something a little more lax um but yeah have made a few minor background improvements I guess um nothing I think that's going to be like super overly noticeable hi Shaka <laughs> Um, but my face tracking should be a little bit better. Um, I messed with my hotkeys a little bit. Um, and I prettied up the Twitch page a little bit, although I, I intend to add more to it. Um, but yeah. Uh, for tonight, I just plan on... I, I have one totally new deck, but I also I really just want to feature, and also I think it'd be a little easier to play. Um... The new and improved Green Red Angry. It is essentially maybe not nothing like the old one, but it's it's pretty divorced from the other one. I'm gonna turn on your music just a smidge. Okay. Oh, you know why? I know why that's happening. Let me. Uh, let me see. How's that? Still very loud. Okay. Let me see. Oh, actually, what I just did might not have done anything. It's... Yeah, I... It's... It's in a weird space where, like, my desktop audio is still picking it up, but it's mainly playing through, I think, virtual cable. Let's see. Let's see here. Yes, actually, you know, I can actually hear that quiet down now. All right, so so this one actually controls it. Uh, it's just desktop audio is still picking it up. So that should be good now, though. Maybe a little too quiet. I'm actually going to bump that up just a smidgen. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Which means, uh, did I already... Yeah, let me actually bump up desktop audio back to where it was. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, I, you know, ideally it should be, like, quiet most of the time. But it also isn't on that sick guitar. It also, also isn't on that sick guitar solo, so hard to say. Yeah, no, it's definitely a quieter, quieter portion now. It should be fine. Um, I, I, I dampened it by quite a bit, but um, yeah, and also ideally I will spend uh, enough time talking to like manually, uh, manually dampen it. But yeah, so yeah, so I guess sorry. That's the other new thing is trying out a new playlist, trying out some overclock remix, uh, Zelda stuff. Just a just a little bit of a change. Um, I still like the other playlist, but just trying something else, trying something else out. Yeah, lots of lots of pretty Zelda remixes. Although I, there was, while I was like preparing to launch stream, there, there was like a weird, like silly one. So, uh, I guess like, I guess we're gonna hit the occasional one of that. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to remember. Let me let me go over the changes to. Uh, green and angry real quick okay so uh, I mean there's a lot in there that is the same to be honest um, but yeah actually do I have let me let me see actually if I have the old list for comparison. I think I might only have it in like... Uh... 
yeah, I only have it in like Streamlabs memory. And I forget where that's stored, so can't pull that up at the sec uh, right this second. Yeah, so we'll just drop that for now. Um yeah. Mainly it's Oh, how do I I cut all the bad green <laughs> uh angry creatures. Exotic pet is the only one that has stayed. Um have much, much more of an aggro bent to it now to the point that I'm almost considering like trying just to make a green red aggro list just not bothering with the angry portion although I still really like the angry portion but we'll see god it's been through so many changes um so I remember last stream somebody mentioning like oh why no seed of paradise and because I didn't really think of it as like being aggressive enough uh, a, I was wrong. It totally is. Um, B, uh, you can actually pair it with either Fire Elemental or Namely Path of Paradise. I'll explain the, the singular, singular Fire Elemental in a second. Um, but uh, yeah, you can actually pair them together with one of the uh, four to three. Co I mean, oh, sorry, that's the other thing is like other than Hate Seed, there's no creature in this deck that costs more than four. We also very important. Um, but, you know, ideally just with Imperial Trooper, Blight Blade, or Axe Grinder on the well spot. Um, just turn two, starting right next, right near your opponent's well, right near their face. Um, uh, with, with a, you know, either, well, I guess usually a 7-4. I guess in this, uh, in Blight Blade's case, an 8-4. Which obviously can be a little fragile, but still I think it's a very potent start. You get to continue your collection going after that. Um, ideally since it's only turn two, um, especially if you, well, I can't necessarily say if it's better you, if you went second. It's better if you went second if you can go opposite side, because then you can be really, you can be like one tile up uh, closer to their orb. And that's just very, that's very aggressive. You're unlikely to lose it. And therefore you're going to get collection, therefore you're going to be able to play another, another nasty creature. But yeah. Um, other than that. Yeah, because they were there, they were there. Blight blades are new. Um, just cause that just so I have a higher density of cheap or you know affordable but you know aggressive creatures in the starting hand, because that was an issue early on. Um essentially running no events outside of Flame Burst and the uh, Outland Rangers campfire and sorry, and Ember's command. Um, because we really need to hit those creatures early. Still doing the just two of hate seed because yeah, it's a it's abysmal draw. <laughs> draw more than one of those soon. Um, yeah, so sorry. And the one off fire elemental is I'm honestly considering cutting it and just going up to three path of paradise just because it's so brutal to draw a path of paradise later on or. We'll say mid game, um, especially late game, because um, obviously this deck refers to win well before then. Um, so at least with the fire elemental, it's still an angry, it's still a creature, it's you know, it's something going on there versus the path, which, yeah, you 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 know, this deck essentially only needs two mountains and a forest to function. You really don't need the ramp uh, past the uh, first two turns. So I just wanted to have, I think, about six, but I might just count, uh, cut the fire elemental, go up a flight blade, or cut the fire elemental, go up a path. But otherwise, this is, you know, this has been the the general shell the deck has had for a while, um, and it's it's good. It's I I don't lose to it. I lose with it often, or if I do lose with it, I you know. It's it's fairly quick in that sort of like, you know, rushy type way where it's like, okay, it's very evident I can't come back from this. I can concede and, and move on to the deal. Um, it also is, it's less good because I no longer have Guidance or Shamanic Dance like I did earlier. So it's less good, especially with the addition of Light Blade Light. It's less good than it was uh, at dealing with um, Rush. But it's still very, very efficient at dealing with Rush. Um, 
exotic pet is a huge asset with that for just being able to summon it on uh, on their lands on their only lands of uh, special lands that they have near you it's it's super good and even beyond that just imperial trooper being able to steal lands and just being a good stat good stats for its cost it's yeah all very good so i still don't think it's perfect it's still very capable of bricking especially if you don't draw any of those early creatures um or all those early creatures happen to be seeds of paradise but other than that uh it's way better like i said i do at least at my rank which uh currently we're looking at a nice oh yeah still still sitting at plat just the very bottom of plat i reached like rank five with this um probably back in either february or march uh and have just been maintaining my my platinum status since haven't really made any serious attempts towards god um i'll see see if we can't change that sooner rather than later it would be nice to hit god rank although as much as i adore this deck uh and as far as it's taken me maybe not with uh green red angry but we'll see probably will be with blue jump if i'm honest um they're actually very similar in the fact that they're uh, aggro decks but not uh rush decks i suppose so yeah we can probably just queue up now um the other deck i want we'll see if we showcase tonight is chef salad um which is a green red yellow list and that's all i think that's all i'll say about it for now but it's very fun it's very neat um but i don't expect to be winning very much of it um and i'll, I'll explain why that is later but for now let's queue up a little bit for uh for green red angry Oh, right. I knew I, I knew I was forgetting something. I yeah, so like I said, I, I fixed up my hotkeys, so let me do that. Oh wait, oh there we go. Yep. Zip over there. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I got my little little card set up back. Just so I can like actually discuss decks without, you know, blocking the view the entire time. And then when I'm actually ready to play, just pop on over. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yes, and I'll, I'll be, you know, ideally be setting up a few more hotkeys. And that, it's, it's weird in that, like, I've been, I technically had a form of that for a while, but I only got it, like, properly set up to where it's all, like, covered by the same, like, grouping of keys recently. But yeah, it, it's very nice. Nice to not like be obscuring that that info. Oop, there we go. Let me get in game. Smiler. That's that's a creepy name. <laughs> I don't like seeing a ramp. Yes, but we'll, we'll probably just boot these for now. We are going second, so we will have a chance. Okay, so we have some starting creatures. Not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, I, I, I suppose I should mention, this deck does not live and die on being able to um, uh, end up in your opponent's face like super, super quickly, but it does definitely appreciate it. With the, the land count being as low as it is, and having as many neutrals as it does. Definitely not super concerned about, um... Oh, the age old question of do I play around the... Yeah, deep root, deep root stalker even. I think I will. But <laughs> I always, I always not hate using that, that barrier early. Yeah. 
actually running into. <laughs> well, actually, I guess we'll see. Depends what they play. Okay, okay, this could be fine. Okay, yeah, so this is looking like it's uh, either green yellow hand buff or. Do -do -do. Let me do this real quick. Or green yellow sack. But regardless. And we can probably leave this here. Um, I was gonna say, our worst matchup is still just mono green, which I think is the fate of just about every green red deck. <laughs> um, so, if this is not mono green, I'm, I'm pretty grateful for that, but otherwise, could be a bit of an uphill battle. I might not, I might not see it through. <laughs> Yes, yes, please push the other side so I can feel safer to double neutral. <laughs> eh, no, never mind. Yes, okay, there we go. So there's probably hand buff. Which will be okay if we draw our commands. Might be a little spookier if we don't. Although, we do have pet, which is a, can be a nice way to trade for some for some dragons. Beam Wrangler. Okay, no, so it is, it is probably the sack. Alright. Hmm. So I, now I guess I don't, I'm glad I buffed this up so I don't need to worry about Soul Drain for a little bit here. I'm trying to think of where I want the seed. But I still think I will double neutral. It's just if I dash the seed over here. I don't need a mountain here. I want I want it here. But I need this space to do that with. I also want to like play an exotic pickup up here. We might just ignore the seed for now, actually. Then there's double neutral this way and then play our own mountain here. You know, actually I'll do it this way. We will worry about the seed. We'll just have it back as a collector. I have a dash for now. I have exotic pet. And play it out like this. See how that works. Get ready to start playing our trooper and axe grinder in a sec. I would love to be able to shoot down that. Uh, I forgot what you're called. Spirit of Rebirth. Okay, do you plan on sacking that, or...? I'll gladly take the value for- or unless- oh, I think no, they're just trying to- No, I, they still should have traded this into- Yeah, I don't- Oh, I see what they're doing, okay. There's a big- there's a big wrangler <laughs> Alright, luckily we don't mind. Oh, we might mind. We might a little. <laughs> Path would actually be really right. Nice red. Yeah, no, that's its luck. All right, so we can do a few things. I think what I will do is play mountain here, collect, trade, play the axe grinder here, play the trooper there. I really do want this spot, but. I don't think I'm going to be able to fight for it and also keep up, like, confident collection going up. We will be getting the hayseed pretty cheap soon as well, so we can keep up the pressure. So next turn, if they do place this land spot, and they probably will. Oh, what? They placed a lake? I didn't even notice. Yeah, I'm curious to see what they're running. Um, but we'll be able to start drawing next turn. Or did that. Alright. So yeah, this deck would, I, I will say, our opponent's deck would probably have been punished very badly if we did actually get a uh, ramp early. Or at least our ramp early in, in the like more advantageous position. Because we're okay uh, drawing this turn 2 and getting it turn 3. Which is, if I don't have a seed in my opening hand, I'll play the mountain. That way I can play the forest and dash, dash it up in a, in a relevant spot. 
But yeah, no such luck this turn. This is all, like, yeah, part of the reason. Uh, I don't know how much use that land's gonna do. I mean, is this all the special lands they need? Oh, I guess, I guess they don't want, well, we'll see, I guess. I guess maybe they just don't want to play a special land because I'll just steal it anyways. Although neutral tile is still super useful for me. But yeah, probably not going to happen. Ooh, geez. Six, seven, and we can still trade for it. Hopefully we draw some removal. Yeah. All right, we're set. Yeah, <laughs> we might need to concede this one. Um, ooh, is it enough? All right, we can draw. But yeah, we're suffering right now for the same reason we would be suffering if um if we were just going up against mono green and that they're just sort of walling us. Obviously, the advantage blue jump has in this position is being more mobile. Quite a talk. Now I'm still gonna give it a, a, a turn or two more, but like yeah. Once we start losing momentum, we really start losing momentum. All right, so what do we got? Ooh, double flamer. I would obviously prefer to keep this for burn. Can I? Oh, I, I have just enough barrier to bop flame versus flame burst to play a hate seat here. I would way prefer to have it here, but I don't think beggars can be choosers. Oh no, should I? I should probably flame burst the seed of. Rebirth. You know, assuming assuming their last card in hand is a um is a creature. All right, so we'll do it that way, and we'll 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 hang the hate seed a little bit, or maybe we just hold off because we're still probably gonna have this land available next turn. No, but I want the collection though. I want the collection. If they want to trade off their demon wrangler. That's fine by me. All right, so we will do it this way. Boop, 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 boop. I live to regret it. <laughs> Wait, did I shoot the? Oh no, I don't know if I. Sh I don't know if I shot the spirit first. <laughs> I think I did. Oh, that's why they're. They're all right. So yeah, I'm trying to counter rest now that they're sort of locking me in a little bit. Um, I think the other thing this deck is good at doing is uh, pivoting around the other side. What is this list? I, uh, I guess. Wait, they played it. I'm dumb. It's just. It's just for Cohen's. It is just for Cohen's. Do. All right. I see the paradise. Your time might be up. Question is, where do I want you? I right, so we'll play you here. I'm so torn because I'm part of me is just like if they want to waste their time using a demon wing to kill this, so be it. Um, but if I place it here, I only get one more collection, anyways. I get, I guess that's optimal, just at least the one more. We'll do it that way. But yeah, a path of paradise would actually be really good in this position. So actually, maybe I will just make that modification after <laughs> talking about it so much. What do you got? Rooter. I'm really scared of that. something I can play on neutral tiles because um, I might want to draw this turn because now we are we are very much losing this race if we don't do something about the demon wing um, and that's already two of our three flame bursts so not likely going to be able to
I mean, I guess I can throw just about anything in front of it. I'll, you know, I, because I don't think soul drain is going to be a factor. Or any really removal outside of crystal flower, if they're even running crystal flower. <laughs> All that talk about wanting to play a neutral, and I don't think I even want to. So yeah, so let's let's draw for now. And then Imperial Trooper. That's okay. That's nice. So we have a, a little bit of a follow up. So for now, I think I will just Outland Ranger here. Can't fire the Axe Grinder, so this trading off the one one isn't as big of a deal. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. I guess. Oh, yeah. Double neutral into champion. Oh, they don't have the fairy for a champion right now. But oh, they will if they step over. So they do have the double desert. Are they running any removal? <laughs> Okay, cool. Yeah, they're gonna deny me that. That's not knowing that I'm running. That's a way. Have I played a trip? Yes, I played a trip already. Ooh, god, that's sticky. That's a sticky wall. And a Revely just sort of chilling. Yes. <laughs> it's a very nice barricade you have. I would, I would dearly like to run it down. We might need to play a little goofy with our lands. Like either this or this. Just to like try to have some relevance again. Yeah, I did not think this little this little twofer right here would would, would be so uh taxing to us, but it's it's been a big big pain. I also just don't want to ignore this. Tell you what, we will do this and this and just get a trooper going. We could come back. If we could get a very just nicely positioned of, uh, <laughs> a fire singer. That would that would probably do it for us. Oh, we do love the draw. We do love the draw. <laughs> so we can potentially get our land placements, unless they're just going to stand in front of me. <gasps> Another reveler. Uh, all right, that's gonna. That's going to be very valuable for them. Don't forget to step over your dude. Alright, there we go. No, they're, they're playing pretty smart. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. Alright, well that's one half of what I was talking about. The second half is getting it into a nice position, which... Isn't going to be happening anytime soon. Um... Yeah, I have no way to prevent them from getting value from that Reveler. Yeah, I don't think I need to draw here, because I don't know what I would draw that would make that much of a difference. Um, I do think I need to just start charging out oh, uh, with my neutrals. I don't want to build a lane for them right now. Not that I think it'd be a huge difference, but we'll neutral over here. Um, 
just in case. I think I prefer a defensive light blade. Get that there. Set this up here. I don't know if there's much purpose in re-hitting this. Do it this way. I guess maybe what I could have done is just clear this out. I do, I do prefer to sort of mess with their positioning a little bit um, in order to force them to clear to get their Faria. Although I can imagine more painful things. Um, so we'll see if they block up the well spot. Nope. All right, cool. So we can we can start marching. Something that they they play a champion over here. I'm a little less scared now. Um, what will that be? That will still be. Oh, uh, it's still gonna be. Oh, okay. They're they're finishing their hand. I wonder if they have any more spirits. That'd actually be kind of. That'd be kind of annoying. I hadn't really considered how well uh, Spirit of Rebirth play with Rakoans. They might also play well with the Axe. Yeah, that is it. At least I'm not going to get Barry out of that, but that's not really... <laughs> <laughs> That's not really much of a win. And a priest. Supercharge something else. Probably a champion <laughs> with our luck. Yeah, I might need to I might might need to skip this. This feels impossible to come back from at the moment. I did really need that collection. Do you have a trooper, the ranger? I have the trooper because I can actually trade, but I would love to play both. Also, would have loved to have drawn an exotic pet at any point because they're not going to be as useful later on now. Because um, that they also really help with uh, being blocked out by lands. Because I can, you know, clear a thing and then just play a uh, exotic pet on it and then play a land uh, following it. So yeah, I'll say those flame burst early on. We're pretty lucky. Ooh, what do you have? Do you have another illusionist, maybe? I think, uh, yes, illusionist would line up. Yes, they do. They have another illusionist. Oh, no, it's a shield mate. That's a big shield mate. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to steal your lake. <laughs> Can't in here. Alright, and finish me off that way. Alright. <laughs> Genuinely still might outrace them with the Firebringer, because I just don't think they're running any hard removal. Well, that's going to stall us out. Alright, at least that's all the shield mates. Not you. Oh no. I, yeah, I mean, I'm just expecting at this point the gift trade scoop at this point. <laughs> we fought the good fight. But god, especially if this isn't uh, able to collect. We got, I mean, we technically have something, but we basically have nothing. <laughs> Luckily, we still have only maybe four damage coming in next turn. Unless they decide to gift one of these two. Alright. Do we have a champion coming in? Oh, they do run Crystal Flower! God damn it. I've been waiting for that one. Alright, we're gonna have to scoop this one. Right? Because, yeah, uh, even if I draw Emperor's Command at this point, you are so late. You are so late. 
<laughs> um, even if I were to draw Ember's Command at this point, it'd still it'd be in a horrible position, and it still wouldn't quite bleh, quite crack it. All right, we'll give them we'll give them a well played. I probably dragged that out a little longer than I needed to. <laughs> All right, not gonna give me a, not gonna give me the well played back. That's fine. I was on a win streak, by the way, so that's now that's now dead. All right, well that's unfortunate. I know, I know. If I make that that uh, exchange that fire elemental for a path of paradise, now it's gonna bite me in the butt. So ironic because a path of paradise would actually have been wonderful that game. Just the, the rare exception there. Right, we'll we'll run it one more time. And if I draw another just really inopportune uh, fire elemental. I've been calling it Earth Elemental, haven't I? If I draw another inopportune fire elemental, then yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll cut it, but that that is probably a game I should have given up sooner. Yeah, so give me two seconds. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mute to drink. But yeah, I'm hoping I get to showcase, like, just how much better the new version is, but you know. Oh, there, there we go. We're actually, pretty quick tonight. That's this. It's been nice. I know we had a small influx of players recently. I don't know if there's a was a particular reason. Although probably a sale, if I had to guess. Hey, this is more what we're looking for. Sort of. Actually, well. I don't like exotic as a starting creature. This is a little risky because we want we want an opening creature more than we necessarily want our ramp, but I'm going I'm gonna go for it. No, okay, that's not what we want. <laughs> oh god, that's not what we want. I'm, I'm genuinely being having my face spat in. Alright, it's fine. We have we have about two turns to draw a creature. All right, they have the water alley. Yes, yes they do. <laughs> we actually match up pretty okay against blue jump. Oh yes, especially if we draw that. Do I? That will yeah, that'll still leave me with one fairy. That's all we need. I want the I want the well really badly actually. So we will do this. And then just pop you. <laughs> if I don't get to collect neither to you. Uh, it's a little it's a little wasteful. I definitely would have preferred to have had something to play on that to get the buff, but yeah. Ah god. I will say very much this is a, a do as I say, not as I do type type uh, situation. Cause ideally you would not have I would have just full scooped or full full mulliganed. We can afford to draw here because I still really don't want to play. I really don't want to play pet. Shame. Yeah. Son of a. Alright, well, tell you what. Oh, I can't even. Oh, I guess I could defensively play. No, uh, no, I can't even play this because, yeah. Normally the whole can only be seven adjacent uh, to friendly non green creatures isn't a problem because you only have to worry about other pets and seed, but go figure. <laughs> oh god. Uh, ugh. I can pet an Emperor's Command this. That feels horrid. Also, there's nothing I can do to not give up this spot anymore. What I can do, actually, is I can dash this over here and start pivoting. The little, the, the stuff I was talking about earlier. 
Oof. Yeah, I, I want to leave the one area up, so I think I will do that. So we'll create a mountain. We'll dash this way. Play exotic pet. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully this works out. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? No, I mean, because they're probably jumping to collect and then jumping over here. But I was going to say, I maybe should have held onto the exotic pet just to play it on one of their lands. Just in case they left something open for me to do that with. So that might have been a little bit of a misplay. This whole, this whole game has <laughs> been a little bit of a misplay. <laughs> oh, I should not have kept that opener. Now, and now they're coming around. Yeah, go figure. If I had, if I had, <laughs> I can't say they were guaranteed to head this way. But if I had, just held on to the exotic pet. No, okay, now it's like a playing one here, anyways. That's fine. Yeah, this guy's probably not making it, <laughs> making it to his destination. Un oh my god. Horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Better. Way better. Alright, cool. Alright, so we will scoot down this way. <laughs> we'll scoot down this way, and I guess we'll clear. Ooh, uh, no, we can't. Yeah, so we'll clear. Got our collection, deny them theirs, and... Oh, we're just not denying them theirs, because they're just going to jump. They're just going to not let me... They might, let... they might not want me to steal their land, though. We'll see. I do, I do not feel confident right now. Yeah, this this deck cares about its early game so so much. So I really should have I should have taken that that opening hand more seriously. And you know what I mean? Ain't, ain't it always the way of it? I <laughs> it'd been like maybe oh geez I don't know four or five games since I'd lost with this deck. Then the second I start streaming with it. Ugh. I always draw well, no matter what. Well, isn't that nice, Shaka? What a what a great skill you have. Just built different, yeah. Just just draw better forehead. All right. That said, we did just draw uh, wonderfully, and we just we, and we built them a lovely land. Um, it's fine. We needed the collection actually to, to do this. So we will do this. We'll do this. We'll plus one just in case. Okay. Well, yeah. There's nothing I can draw for anyway, so we will plus one just in case. Um, and now we have a bit more of a, a follow-up. I'm curious what the green is for at this point. Ninja Toad. This is why you plus one. Made a little bit of a, a, an oopsie there. <laughs> <laughs> Debating between going for collection and just killing me outright. Yeah, this is why we plus one on the on the off chance. Axe, <laughs> Axe grinder didn't make it. They have so much area too. They they're probably just running running it for buffs. To be honest, just generic buffs. Otherwise, yeah, we just have some some blue green jump going on. Maybe maybe for teleports too. I'm curious. All right. Battle toads. Banking a lot of me not being able to clear that in red. You're right. You're in, but it's, ordinarily that'd be a bad move. This is abysmal. <laughs> <laughs> and it's my fault it's abysmal. Um, so. I think I'm what I'm tempted to do is double neutral. Step back, collect, clear. I can even double neutral here. Point is, I want, you know, step back, collect. Step back, clear, collect. Play a pathetic Firebringer. That'll make the next one a little less pathetic. But also, I... Yeah, I shouldn't try and draw removal. 
because yeah it, it is essentially yeah one in or, or three or what a three and yeah three and twenty um so yeah just don't run that much i've been considering trying to squeeze a silent horse master in here uh it's definitely better for when you're behind than when you're ahead in your head it really just doesn't do much but meh So I guess we'll do this at least. Clear. We could threaten this, but it's, uh, the problem is it's not very threatening. Um, oh god, oh god, ah, uh, fuck, <laughs> it's not where I wanted that. This still might not be horrible, but I didn't want to get this here for that to jump to, but it's fine. Um, it would not have been the end of the world if it did. All right, um, and now they're gonna step over here and clear. Whoops, yeah, I should play that there. Or here. Or anywhere other, anywhere that wasn't in range of this guy. Oh God, it's not great. Area. <laughs> Fighting my time to draw an exotic pet that I could have had earlier. I'm gonna give this maybe two more turns before I scoop. Oh, jeez. No, no, I'm just gonna skip. They have a potential. What? Like. 11 barrier next turn. All the lands I could want. Positioning. And I will have A44 or A64. <laughs> they can also just trade into. I forgot this was buffed. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll just. We'll just scoop. Oh, that's so frustrating. We'll do that at least. All right, let's focus up. Let's. I'm going. I'm going to not mess with my opening hand that much this time. Oh my god, the Q times have been so quick tonight. That's awesome. Kiba. I have a feeling they're going to be kind of low ranked. I have a feeling I'm being. Uh, well, we'll see. Now they're my rank. Alright, never mind. Okay, cool. Creatures. Um, so I'll ditch one of the Outland Rangers. I'm tempted to ditch both just to look for ramp. But I'd, I'd like to still have something to play. And because this is a, a two lander, I feel better about that. Yeah, so this is fine. Fine if, if you know, not ideal. All right. So waiting to see which direction we're going. is not going to have anything that can snipe this, so not gonna worry about that. Unless they run punishment for punishment or uh, uh I can't remember what it's called. The the anti flyers uh event. Okay. Alright. Tell you what I'm if we draw ramp I might start pivoting the other way 
but for now, for now this is fine. I guess we want to bear in mind that we're probably not. I, I guess what are the odds of them like going out of the way to, out of the way to clear this, unless they draw an injured toad, in which case, uh, not a big ask. Um, but yeah, we'll see. It does uh, depend how they uh, treat the rest of the lands, but it might have been nice to play uh, Imperial Trooper or Blightblade. Oh, sorry, not even Imperial Trooper, just the Blightblade as a potential follow-up. Now they're blue-green. Okay. Well, that's not a great move if I had a Silent Horse Master. <laughs> Maybe I should consider Silent Horse Master again. Maybe even over Blightblade, but we'll see. All right, so... All right, so we get our... Hmm. We have to play our Blade Blade. I want to play the Flame Burst, but we can probably just hold on to that. That's not a huge deal. Um. Yeah, we want the Well Spot more, I think. I am tempted to pivot, but I think yeah, if we had some actual like guaranteed ramp in hand. Right now, I'd feel more comfortable with that, but we don't, so I don't. <laughs> so we'll play the Blight Blade. We will take our... Yeah, no, sorry, we need to take the Frog Clear, otherwise the Elemental gets free clear. So yeah. We're growing ever so gradually. And yeah, at least we're sort of like... Ahead of them stat wise. Obviously, they could easily have some tricks up their sleeve right now, but just. They need to have them. So even if we have no collective next turn, it's not the end of the world. Although, yeah, I was about to say it is looking like they're gonna have something. Alright, we go five. We don't care about that until later. And then another water alley, which we also still don't really care about. Awesome. Makes me feel a lot better about, about doing this. Alright, and then we'll pop ya. Need to be very wary of this, but it's what we got going on right now. I'm trying to think where this deck is coming from. Or, you know. Players are just playing what feels good. Okay. So we do have our exotic pet. I wonder. Like I'm, I'm tempted to take the aggro route of flame burst the frog. Step on the lake, and exotic pet up on their forest up here. Actually, no, that makes total sense. Yes, guys, still guarantees collection. We got the mountain here. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. Why, why hesitate? Um, that's a lot of pressure. So we will do that. I don't like using the flame burst this early. You're also not quite as big as I'd like you to be just yet, but yeah. Den deny them double collection as well, which is nice. But yeah. I forget if my uh, the earlier build actually did run Cypher's Wrath, so I, I suppose I should probably explain that. Um, so I'm just running the two Emperor's Commands and the um, three Flame Bursts. Just because Flame Bursts, I get to use them for burn. They're you know a chunkier bit of removal. Um, can even hit the occasional structure as well uh, with... Um, what am I trying to say? With... Uh, with Emperor's Command. And, well, Emperor's Command and, and Flame Burst. It's just, yeah. It's a good utility thing. I think it's worth the extra one Faria. Definitely there are plenty of times where, like, I mean, Cypher's Wrath is, is good for a reason. But we're just trying not to overly stock up on removal. We want the we want the creature presence. Um, it might be worth taking the face hit just to keep this land occupied. In case of a Ninja Toad. So part of me really does want to get an uh, Imperial Trooper going, like, over here. So what I might just do is ignore the face hit for now, 
Step over, double neutral, Imperial Trooper. Yeah, it's not, it's not great. So if I stand here, can the frog, yeah, the frog can reach. Yeah, the only way this doesn't get cleared next turn, so that might, that might be relevant. Um, also just draw, huh? <laughs> that wouldn't be the worst thing to do right now, huh? Um, let's do that, actually. Okay. Tell you, oh, I meant to play the ranger first. Ugh. But yes, yeah, so this. Oh, I need, I need my, there we go. And if they want to come back with their try and clear that they're, they're certainly welcome to. There we go. So now this is nice and big. And we help just guarantee collection. Yeah, this deck, this deck really does good with racing a lot of the time. Just because we can basically always pump out some efficiently statted creature every turn. So long as we have something collecting, and even if we don't, if we have our land set up, we can just plus one. So just the occasional exotic pet just thrown in there every now and again really helps with that. For being so cheap. It's it, it just, it's again, it, exotic pet was just the inspiration for this deck. Just for the potential to go aggro and the fact that it was just a, you know, a green angry creature that was very splashable. I didn't necessarily intend to go essentially mono red angry plus the splash of green, but that's how it worked out and, and again generally works out works out pretty well. <laughs> Alright, so they're going face. They're trying to race. I tried to warn them. <laughs> can't tell can't tell me I didn't tell them that. The ninja toad clear. Nope. Just trying to race. Alright. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Oh my god, alright, we're in way more danger than I thought we were. Never mind, all, the, all that fucking boasting about how good we were doing. I didn't consider a uh, Ninja Toad, face it. So we kind of actually just need to draw an, uh, an Emperor Command here. And here another situation where Silent Horse, uh, this Silent Horse Master would have been useful. Yeah, we might just, we might just up and lose this one again. Got to draw, there's a few things we could draw. That's not it, that's not one of them though. Yeah, so if we draw to an Emperor's Command or a Flame Burst, uh, we we would have been all, we would would have been okay for at least another turn. Oh, that's frustrating. Can block with seed, but you needed to build land. I see what you mean. So hi, Stinky. Welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll play it out. I guess, but it's not much to play out. Oh, man. Boop, boop. I, yes, I see what you mean. Yeah, just play the here, there. Yeah, I need to remember that's having the utility of seed. Uh, Alright, I'll play. <laughs> We're suffering with green, red, angry. Oh, and they had the heal anyways. Yeah. I just stopped by. I don't have long, but I'll lurk. I, I still appreciate you dropping by. Uh, been it, I haven't streamed for like eight months, so uh, I appreciate anybody from the prairie community just uh, poking in. Alright, so I think I will, at least right now... Uh, no, you know what, no. Because no. I'm, I'm not going to bother with the elemental thing that didn't... That hasn't been relevant. The turn when you went aggro probably should have taken the value trade. Oh, like stepping... I appreciate it. It's, it's really fun. It's really fun when it's uh, piloted more confidently. <laughs> and also just, you know, when I... Uh, have some stronger stepping back with the five. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, instead. Okay, yeah, instead of. I see what you mean. Having a little hard time visualizing it because it was it was a second ago. But yeah, I think I see what you mean. Using the trooper, step back on the toad. 
You did the Arose guide? Looking like time. Yes, I did. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm still pretty proud of it. I actually still need to update it. I still, the, the one little thing I need to accommodate for was the chain. Oh, thank you. I, I'm glad you liked it. I, I'm not sure how actually useful it is, but I appreciated gathering all the all the trivia for it. That was that was fun. But yeah, for the longest time, I forget if I, I just I still don't think I have. But I still need to update. Uh, see the paradise. That was the one uh, balance change that regarded a a uh, barrier cost. Yeah, you know, it, I as you can imagine, it barely changes the numbers, but it's just something. But I never got around to it. But yeah, no, I'm glad. I'm glad you liked. That. I know. I don't know if too many people got around to to looking at it, but uh, Moon saw it. I think Moon featured it in his in his big Ultimate Faria guide, which was also very very nice of him. <laughs> but yeah. Oh yeah, I could. Oh geez, I could have been. I could have been queuing that whole time. But yeah. So, I. <laughs> Half of me is like, I should just play this till I get a win, but, um, I'm trying to think. Ooh, I made an Orose deck because of it. Oh, cool. Did you, did you happen to, uh, share that list on the hub? I say sucks too much, so, yeah. <laughs> even, even failed experimenting her out is just usually not, not super worth it. No, I don't share anything. I just take and take. <laughs> oh, a filthy net decker. <laughs> no, but yeah, I mean, I, I yeah, I can also. I suppose I understand if you weren't happy with the results, but I'm still glad that inspired you to make something. That was that was basically the the entirety of the reason for making the guide was for people to give her uh, another chance. But yeah. I tried, I mentioned this to Moon during a stream way back, um, during one of his streams, I should say, uh, tried to combine it with Carassius, and it is, it's interesting because it's in the, like, little four to six leap, which I, it's like one of my favorite leaps, um, but yeah, it is, it, is, it ends up being just kind of worse Carassius. <laughs> worse, more inconsistent Carassius, because obviously if you transform them, they don't, they don't die. They don't, they don't contribute to future Carassius. It was that combined with old, um, ooh, play first. Oh, if I were going second, I would, you see, you see, this is why you, this is why I should have cut that. That would just be one more. It's, yeah, it is one more. So I was combining that, sorry, give me two seconds. I want to, I want to explain. It wasn't just with Carassius. Um, we'll, 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 we'll keep, we'll keep. <laughs> we'll keep and maybe play a late fire elemental. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Might even like double neutral. Nah, nah. No. Oof. I maybe shouldn't have kept that. I have like too many things on my brain now. Double neutral opener. I'm probably not. I'm thinking about it though. Because then I can maybe help guarantee a well spot. Ugh. No, I- oh god. <laughs> I was- I literally- I forget- I'm not sure if you were there for that, but I was literally just mentioning earlier. I, like, I mean, I'm glad you do. Um, I'm- I'm frustrated. They're not frustrated, but I'm- I'm, I'm doubting it. Because- <laughs> All right, so I, I think I will actually I'll play the Island Ranger first on a mountain. We'll step up, and then we'll follow up with a fire elemental next turn because I don't want to go mountain, mountain, mountain or anything like that. Oh, thank you, Stinky. <laughs> All right, and so we will do the pre buff on Island Ranger just in case they have a Cypher's Wrath. All right. Um. Anyway, sorry. Uh, just about the weird. Crassius Arose thing. It was also running the old version of uh, Raccoon Illusionist. So it was utilizing those really cheap um, Dune Drakes to just swarm with a bunch of 
transport uh, four fairy of things that would get transformed into six fairy of things. But now neither of them really uh, combine very well with it. So now we step up. Fire elemental. And we are. Oh no, if I. Oh no. This is still fine. This is still good. But oh geez, I didn't even. I. I no, I still think it was smart to do that on the Outland Ranger, but it would have been nice to have the one extra fairy to to do that with. But yeah, so if this gets cleared, we can step back and then axe grinder and all that, but yeah. So this, we're still in a good position. The only awkward thing now, I guess, is the uh, where the wherever the forest is going to end up going, but that shouldn't be a big deal. It can it can easily just go here or here. Flame burst could as it probably isn't nice at the moment. I like oh the dune jake tactic not the, not the land placement <laughs> yeah no it was i mean it was, a, it was a fun idea not not super effective in practice and especially not now since the nerf but i was like, i wonder if the nerf was ineffective this time but yeah it was fun regardless it was fun also i love being able to do this but that well let me think this through it was okay too <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um, okay, so, I don't think I need to free Flame Burst. I think, honestly, the setting up the Imperial Trooper and the Axe Grind, just swarming with creatures right now is enough. I'm, I like an Emperor's Command shrinking this, but I think also this is fine because they both have the five attack and we can clean up with it. Because I can't, I can't clear right this second anyways, so we'll do, we'll just do this for now. This is this is a nice aggro start, trooper swarm. Yeah, yeah. So we're running the imperial troopers and the blight blades. Blight blades could probably be replaced with silent horse master, just something with more utility. Just so long as it's an angry creature. But I was just running the blight blades for the higher aggro potential. All right. So we were hoping this would happen. So boop. Uh, is there a better way to do this? This is good if I if I follow up on it correctly. <laughs> do I care about the land steal right now? I take value trades. I think, yeah, so I think, I think it makes sense to step over, clear with this, hit face, steal the front land, yeah. I value trades. <laughs> For Chad, such a <laughs> Alright, so sorry, let's do that. Let's do that real quick then. I agree. Alright, so steal the land, got the... Uh, do I care about the face hit more than I care about the... I don't think I care that much about the clear. Yeah, I'll go for the face hit for now. We'll, we'll keep up the pressure. Um, I think I have a plus one blade blade, but we'll keep up. We'll keep up the pressure as much as I kind of like the, the idea of a double neutral here. I think we're. I think this is fine just because we have so many uh, weakened units at the moment. All right, I got. I got some burn of my own. I'm actually going to be able to use it this time. I wonder what the desert's for. Oh wait, no, I know what the desert's for. Your game is on point right now. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I think I, I think I did get a little lucky in this particular. Wait, oh, thank you. Oh my god, I drew bones of flame first. <laughs> All right, uh, it's eleven down to four. Yes, yeah, so we have to do have the clear. Please level top deck. Lovely. It's, yeah, it's, it's always the best feeling. All right, cool. We won a game. <laughs> we won a game with Green and Angry. <laughs> I will say that it, it normally doesn't go that well, but it uh, definitely better than normally. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Shaka. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you were way ahead, though, too. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. I think I just got a bit lucky. Um, just because I got to 
because the deck is so aggro, it just casually sort of punishes uh, red, yellow, burns like you know inefficient creatures, you know, with um, the shed and pest or not shed and pest, shed and brute, and the um, grim guard. But yeah, regardless, uh, I also I I appreciate I appreciate the help, Stinky, um, for for uh, that the that one sort of like crucial moment for those clears. Uh, all right, okay, you know what? That was quick. I will I will play one more game with Green Red Angry, and then I'm going to show off uh, Chef Salad a little bit. It's all you for. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh, I wish I could talk about Chef Salad a little bit while we're queuing. Um, oh, I actually hold up. I can. Mm, give me a second. Let me see. It depends because queues have been really quick tonight. This might not be worth it. Because obviously I can't pull it up while I'm queuing in game, but I can queue it up here. Okay, yeah. So Chef Salad is. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say a little less consistent than Greed Red Angry, um, but it's a, it's been polished a lot since. So this is actually a, I guess, adapted version of a deck I streamed forever ago. I believe that stream has been lost to time because that was before I was uh, downloading my VODs on time. But it's a it's a newer version of a deck I called Barracks, which is just a red yellow attack matters sack deck with way more of an emphasis on the attack matters but this one is still i would say an attack matters uh type list as obviously barrier doesn't have too too much support for that outside of angry but this this is attack matters in in the sense that like i'm doing the synergy with a uh, grappling hook and um a recon rebeler otherwise it just has a bunch of nice interactions that, that gain you value. Um, they mostly revolve around Reveler, but obviously using something like a Lord of the Waste, um, sacking just about anything, any of our creatures once they've got uh, gone and done their thing, uh, can gain you a lot of area. Basically just, you know, you try to go as close to neutral with all of your fairy, fairy use like per turn. Um, and eventually that will eke you out to where you can play your Maginata or even um, you could you could splurge a little bit on an inefficient uh, Spirit Spice. Although ideally, of course, you know, you want to sack in the same turn you're playing that to maximize Faria value. But yeah, so it's a deck that can uh, play mid-rangey. It can go up the wells, but it generally prefers the turtle and then use Maginata and Grappling Hook and such to start popping like uh either flying at or swinging at the uh the enemy and getting over to their orb i think it i think it's maybe well i mean yeah i'll i'll go over it a bit more thoroughly in a second so let me quickly change back that was a, a mercifully long queue time all right so switch that back boop 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 all right cool we're back did it that's a name <laughs> Oh no, we got the sad Rakoan map. Oh, this is nice. The only way this would be better if this were if this were a Blight Blade instead. So that's the other benefit of the Blight Blade. It's like an Imperial Trooper that you can get out of turn earlier. Uh, do we hold on to? I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of the Flame Burst just in case we okay yeah and get something cheaper. Although it's still not ideal. Also, shock. I was gonna ask where you were getting those yaks from, but they're they're the uh, poros from from League, not not yaks from Faria. I am going to skip this track real quick. <laughs> oh, that was not that was not super good. All right. 
Not like a dude in a bar. Yeah. <laughs> He's having a fun time. <laughs> we'll give him that. Uh, Alright, so we will... I'm so tempted to double neutral and just hope they don't double neutral. I'm pretty sure I get a wall spot regardless, but they might they might contest me. They might contest me for it. They're very passionate Zelda fan, yeah. Oh, this next track is kind of quiet. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Why are they running? Probably just Rakoans, huh? I mean, I imagine this Reveler is getting buffed. But for now, we'll do this. We'll hold off on the... Uh, it's less and less likely I'm going to be able to actually, like, just run out of double neutral to put a trooper. But also, I think it's really useless if I play it back here. But also, they have a ton of barriers, so I'd like to be able to contest. We'll hold off for now, just in case. But... Wonder, oh, you know what this is? Maybe. This might be um, green, red. Oh, well, now that they played two mountains, maybe not. But I was going to say it might be green. Oh, Hellfire. Oh, but Moon and, Moon and Lizard were just talking about this. <laughs> do you have a creature follow up? Because I do. <laughs> Croc. It's Croc. It's. Is it Crush? I'm so confused. Anyways, I was gonna say that it might be green, red, um... Green, red, not green, red, stomp, just green, red, big guys, like, you know, running barrier trees and revelers and, and tetheros and maginatas and such. Um, and architects and, uh, imperial engineers and all that. But it doesn't look like it, actually. So as tempted as I am to draw, I think I will just play an axe grinder. I think I'm actually going to try and swoop some double neutrals, although I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't want to get crushed. Get the Krog. Yeah. How, what, Krog's like a 212, right? I don't have removal for Krog. Yeah, so I don't want him getting near my face. At least not right away. So I will... Double neutral for now, and I will do this. I might get crushed. I genuinely might get might get crushed. <laughs> I guess it's not crushed at this point. The rush part is over, but I might get crogged. <laughs> All right, so here here he comes. Not oh, the battle rager. Please let me punish with flame burst. If you love me, let me punish with no. Never mind. <laughs> um. Well. This is an interesting list. I want. I want to talk about um. Hellfire a little bit, but let me let me figure this out real quick. This, this card, this card, it's the most threatening, non-threatening thing in the whole world. I want to kill this Krog Cinder really badly so they so they don't get the reduction on Krog. Um, We're gonna we're gonna do everything in our power to make sure this to make sure this dinner dies. I don't know if I should free buff this because I'm not super afraid of a Cypher's Wrath, but just in case, and also just because we have the really cheap hate seeds in hand. Um, yeah, no, this is a weird one. This is a weird one for sure. <laughs> um, so you can get your your five damage on me. You can let me keep my collection. I appreciate it. Um. All right. What I wouldn't give. What I wouldn't give. All right, so we can.
take the value. Yeah, we can step up, take the value trade. I want. I'd love to play. A, I want. I want to keep a collector, but I don't think just because this is only going to cost us two. I don't think it's the biggest deal. So we will do it like this. I think. Actually, we can just have a collector with seed as much as I want to potentially use it as a blocker. It doesn't look like they're going to get around to doing that very soon. Um, so I will do it this way. Boop. Boop. Get a mountain. And then we can even leave it here and have the option to step here, I guess. Am I really in any danger of that? I, might, I think I'm being a little silly. But it's fine. Also just helps to have more health down, I guess, in case they hellfire again. Um, yeah, sorry, let, to talk about hellfire real quick, because Cyber Aid's not going to do it. So it's definitely in a, a little bit of a scary position. Ooh, yeah, this uh, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, so we can kill it. We have 13 dead. Yeah, so if we top deck a flame burst, we can just kill. Yeah, not gonna happen. Alright. So, what we could do instead is just Outland Ranger, buff this, collect, uh, kill that way, and just hold onto the Emperor's Command just in case. And in fact, I think I've just I think I've just talked myself into that. Alright, so we'll do it this way. Alright, number eight. Um, and we will collect for now. Alright, anyways, goodness. Hellfire! <laughs> um, Moon and Superb Lizard did their little, um, mech uh, workshop thing the other day. And just talking about just the value of Hellfire is... Oh, Alright, cool, awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright, so now I just have all the time that I want. Um... But how Hellfire is way better used for clearing than it is for, for damage, unless you have that sort of guaranteed follow-up. And even still, not really. And yeah, it really does sort of like change your perspective on burnless trying to do burn. <laughs> um, Cause don't get me wrong, it is the most satisfying thing in the world to Hellfire on an empty board or a near empty board, but it is seven very down the drain that gives you absolutely no board presence. <laughs> and like I 100% was, I mean, I really don't play Hell Hellfire, but I, if I were, I would still be playing Hellfire that way. Hellfire was actually a potential uh, thing I was going to be running in, and maybe still should, but run in, uh, in Chef Salad. Something to consider. I'm still working out the Kings of Chef Salad. I think I, it needs more proper payoffs, or maybe more payoffs. Um, yeah, I, I, in general, need a lot of... I guess practice with it? It's weird. It, it's kind of a hard deck to pilot. It, like, you have a lot of value. So, actually, let me, let me... Since we can finally go over to the deck screen, I would like to. Let me get over. There we go. I wasn't scooting for some reason. But yeah, there we go. So it has that awkward sort of element in that it's um, two forests, two deserts, two mountains. But it's, and this is like, I think Doomgate might be cuttable. I originally ran it because the deck was reducing a lot of Faria, but not having a lot of things to spend it on. So I've sort of counterbalanced that with uh, some things to spend it on. Um, you know, there's not not just like expensive stuff as well as you can you can also just like do quote unquote like inefficient plays with it, like just drawing and then like oh I didn't draw anything I'll just play a path, or you know just playing a full price Lord of Waste that sort of thing. Obviously, playing a, a full fight price Lord of Waste at the worst of times is not horrible because it's still it's fair stat. It's just a five area six four, but obviously it can be a little bit of a waste to not get its uh, sacrifice trigger off. 
but uh, yeah, it is a little awkward if you draw it early. It's a little awkward building that second desert, um, but it's otherwise a really great sack outlet, but I had included it, excuse me, I had included it before uh, Demon Wrangler, which is in retrospect is absurd given how valuable Demon Wrangler is for just being a cheap thing that creates a whole nother creature, just a, one of the most efficient sack things in the game. But I, I didn't, so yeah, so I am very tempted just to cut the, the Doom Gate to run a third Demon Wrangler. Especially since the, um, uh, where are you, the Cannoneers obviously are a little limited in what they can sack. The only, I guess, issue I occasionally have with it is having to use a Wrangler, well, quote unquote having to, but putting put in situations where it's relevant to use a Wrangler on a shield mate that hasn't uh, spit out its token yet. Obviously with a Doom Gate, with a Lord of Waste, with a Cannoneer, you don't need to worry about that sort of thing. But yeah, it's, a, it's just a little bit of value left on the table, but really, really not a huge deal. Um, yeah. You get all the, all the benefits of having a Reveler off of a path or a Reveler off of, or standing next to, I should say, a Chieftain, but by Majinata, but by Aridin, or any combination of those things before you go to sack it. Um, and it's just lovely. And even if none of those things occur, you know, uh, it's still, you know, if you sack it with the Lord of the Waste, that's for Faria. Um, if you, if you sack it with a Cannoneer, that's still, uh, a, a net, like, three Faria for three damage and a two-two. It's still, it's just really good. Um, and, you know, you just, you, your revelers are precious. You don't want to just throw them out there. Um, I, the most I think you'd want to throw them out there is just with a path and a reveler early. Uh, that, that way you're, you know, you're spending four Faria, you're ramping, and you're going to almost inevitably get that, that, um, three Faria back. It's just, yeah, a, a whole bunch of little value plays like that. Um, and even just ignoring reveler, just having the, the cheap, Shield mates that you can sack to Lord of the Waste for value, Cannoneer for value. It's just, it, it's just, it's just a very, very, very nice value list. I suppose I should have led with that huh? that it's a, it's a value build. Um, and honestly, my biggest issue with it right now is finishers, um, as well as just honestly a lack of practice with real people. Um, I have played it against real people and I've done fine, um, but it it's just can be a little bit of a complicated thing to run, and I you know. Majinata is a new include. Like, there's been a few tweaks I've made that I haven't really gotten the, the time of day yet. Um, but yeah, no, uh, so... I was, I was gonna say, like, oh, we can take this for a run on casual, but because uh, I haven't ranked up at all tonight. <laughs> probably not necessary. Um, probably will rank up a little bit on my own time. That's been the other thing. Um, oh god, I actually suppose I should mention this. I meant to, I meant to lead stream with this. I usually use it, do a longer little preamble before I get into games, but uh, I suppose nobody was around to get, deliver it to. Regardless, um, probably I just want this somewhere, I suppose. So if it's just in the VOD, it's just in the VOD. But yeah, so I had just stopped streaming for the longest time because I had just been picking up hours at my previous job and that had just generally left me too tired to stream. Not 100%, I still, I probably could have worked some things out but at the time, I just I just hadn't bothered. So switching gears a lot. There's been a lot of a lot of little life changes, time. So I uh, got a new job. Hopefully a much chiller one. At least for now, because I'm still in training. Um, I will definitely have more time and energy to stream. So hopefully it becomes a more regular regular thing. But yeah, that that that's that's the reason for the absence. <laughs> Along aside from just general nerves and such. Um, but yeah. Happy to, be, happy to be back doing it. Let's uh, let's show off a little bit of Chef Salad, uh, and hopefully not lose too much. I keep thinking I have a notification. I do not. Um, so yeah, I am going to queue up, and I'm going to meet real quick for a drink. Uh, 
um, if I were to explain anything, oop, uh, there we go. All right. Yeah. If I were to explain anything else about, sorry, the list, I suppose. Um, oh, I would probably, uh, first off, update what's on screen. There we go. Um, sorry, just double checking to make sure that's the, that's the latest one. I can obviously change it in real time, but it just, it's a little awkward. But yeah. Um, Aridin's a good thing to sack. I don't think I need to explain that. Emerald Salamander is good in just about every, any slower green red angry build, or the green red build. Um, and I will explain more in a second. Let me. Boop. All right. Okay. Um. Might be a little slow. I will. I will keep the shield mates and hope we. Okay. Cool. 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 That's more. That's more like it. Yes, we can shield mates here. Do boop. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Honest. Obviously, the best way would be if we had gone second, so we could afford to do this uh, sack this on with this turn too. But still, still pretty nice. Do that for now. Oh, all right. So we got Reveler's Path. I wonder if that's worth doing. Welcome. Hey, oh, thank you, Stock. I oh god, I'm not sure how long you messaged me that, but yeah, thank you. I I really do appreciate it. Uh, it's I've been wanting to get back to this for the longest time. Oh god, I'm wasting so much time. Speaking of which, um, ooh, just because we have the Lord of Wastes, uh, I think I might just march this off in the other direction. Here, here, here. And we'll do it like that. And we'll be a little slower on the shield mates then. But we have our sort of like very uh, packed and ready to go in that sense. So, yeah. Sets up our mountains. Set, uh, yeah, and genuinely want the deserts on our well spots. Just because we want most of our creatures, confrontation wise, are going to be there. Right, so. Yeah. I think we're not a huge deal. <laughs> but a little annoying. Oh, we were one turn off the Chieftain 2 to maximize value out of that. Oh well. Yeah, so this is what I'm saying. So we have 8 Feria. We're going to be spending 7. And getting 3 back. So a net of 4. It's just... Obviously that's not super even. But you know what I mean. Like, it's... It's just really nice. And we still have 2 Collectors and all. And it's beautiful. I'm going to hold up on playing the Chieftain just until... Um... Oh, I, could, I suppose I could just play it here. In case if I'm worried about them removing this again, but I'd rather have it in a more relevant combat spot. But I'll hold off on it for now. But yeah, it's just it's just nice. <laughs> it's just nice to play in a bunch of. Oh wow, really? Uh, okay. Uh oh wait, it, I might. I think I recognize this name. Yeah, I think they've been playing for a while, actually. Um, yeah, that was bizarre. I don't know why they... <laughs> I don't know why they why they conceded just then. Scared of all the value I was generating, maybe. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know what was up with that. I don't know. Maybe it was the opposite. Maybe they didn't want to beat me up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll take that. To be ail you, maybe. <laughs> yeah, don't think that was. Maybe I, unless they really just just draw that poorly. I guess it's possible. All right, that's a really quick queue time. I'm covering the name. <laughs> I won't be in a second, I suppose. But yeah. Oh, it's where it's. <laughs> Borgiva, Borgiva again. I don't, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. All right, so we'll see. I, well, a, we'll see if they're still running 
green blue jump which is still a weird list um okay I'm debating whether or not to keep the reveler just because we have no way to get it going just yet and also it's not very aggressive yeah it's, yeah let, let's 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 look at something a little more aggressive that's a little more aggressive <laughs> I shouldn't say aggressive. Uh, capable of holding its own against against getting. Uh... No, now they're playing. De no, wait, no, no, wait. They played deserts before. Am I? Who am I thinking of now? Oh no, I'm confusing myself. Um, so I think we can hold on to the explore for now, just until we know what we're doing with it. Um, yeah. No, so they, they are running a different. They just straight up yellow flyers, I guess. Doing the doing the deadly hook, not doing the deadly hook. I don't know what they're doing. I mean, I do know what they're doing. They're doing the thing because they're like, oh, I can just collect with my flyers. I don't, I don't care, so I can just move up further. I guess. Yeah, it's a, it's a thing, I suppose. All right, so we. I don't think double shield mates does much for me. I also don't know lo how long I should stall out on. Because this is what I'm saying, this is the interaction I, interaction I just don't like. So it, lo it loses out on a lot of value. Um, but yeah. So I might follow up this way. Because we can still play another one there. Yeah, as you know, I kind of regret this. I kind of would have liked to set up double collection. In a list I already said was kind of slower. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Um, I kind of want to contest them, but also I don't have a hand to contest them with. <laughs> yeah, this is a little bit awkward one. Um, I'm glad to have Path for some fixing though, because <laughs> I, I think I'm probably gonna need it. Kaleem. Embrace the wild wind. All right, and so you, I keep, I always think Kaleem has charge three for some reason. He super doesn't. <laughs> All right, do you have any? I guess they wouldn't show it yet. If they did. I mean, this is a fast start for them for sure. So we can path. Can we? Yeah, yeah. We can draw. We can path. Playing a mountain here. I, I wonder if we maybe want to cluster it over here rather than trying to build out over here. I wonder. I do wonder. Um, let's do it this way for now. I think I right now I want to make them come to me. Oh shh. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, well Demon Ring is gonna be a little hung. That's unfortunate. I didn't mean to do that that way, that's fine. Um Yeah, that's not exactly what I was going for, but it's fine. But we get some some attack stat that we cover on this side. And we're we're setting up some lands over here for later, although I super did mean to actually have something over here. I don't know why I thought I was gonna be able to play Wrangler there. But yeah, this is fine. Fine, and we're still sitting on a bunch of area. We'll be able to probably draw a bit next turn if we're not happy with what we pick up. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely not the end of the world just because it contests this, but obviously Kaleem is likely to just value trade it. But if they do value trade it, then we value trade it. Just yeah, it's it's fine. It's it's not as bad as I as I was thinking. Honestly, it's ideal to not have shieldmates just hanging around because probably wasn't going to be able to do much. Yeah, this is what I'm saying about this This deck just has like tons of fairy all the time. Um, and why I felt the need to include something like uh, Doomgate, not as a way to get Ostrogoth out, but just as a, a sack engine <laughs> to, and a draw engine. 
back. All right. There's a hook. Do I hook? I don't think I hook. Um, it is nice to have it though. Yeah, we're, we're one forest off doing much meaningful. So I think I will just forest here, get another collector going. Slash, you know, potential sack unit later. Like, yeah, because I can hook, I can use this to clear this. I just don't think it's very valuable because then I just sort of hang it there. And obviously, I, it, you know, ideally I would hook, bop it, land there, place a land, but I wasn't going to be able to hook because it wasn't quite at five lands yet. Um, but yeah, but now we have some salamanders set up. Now we have hook in the ready. Um, I can even try to think because we're getting this Kaleem go that. Yeah, so if Kaleem goes for collect, I actually, I'll move this here. I'll move this here, and if Kaleem comes to clear it, then I can step in and do it unless they decide to scoot this down. Um, but otherwise, if they go to collect, I can actually hook it. And then everything threatens it. So yeah, I will do that for now. Although I don't think it's super ideal. Um, it also might be telegraphing the hook a little too hard. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying in the, in, about this deck. Just, it's just complicated. There's you can you can milk so much out of this. All right, so it does a twister. So we weren't we aren't surprised to see that. Although you did, okay, okay. So we still all right, cool. So it's still in hook range though, unless they plan on moving it again, which is possible. Yes. All right, where are you going? Probably placing a desert in front of Orb. I think no, sorry, they just played that desert. No, what? I'm confused. No, so, no, no, this is new. This is <laughs> okay. All right, so that's not unexpected. Hit, play the follower. Do they have anything else to play? So yeah, they need yeah need to do that first so they can play the follower, scoot over to get another hit. And right there. So yeah, we're in a little bit of a scary position. A salamander would be lovely right now. Oh, bloat fly. Yeah, that's not. Oh, passive bloat fly. I guess if they played there, it'd be, it'd be pretty screwed. Bizarre, 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 bizarre. All right, so this is plus three, plus three. So. I'm trying to think is there any like combination of things we can do to clear uh clean with that i don't uh yes there is i'm still probably gonna draw but basically i could trade this into here get him down to a three five spirit spice trade with uh demon wrangler and it would actually still live on here which is cool um i wonder if they're planning on teleporting this over and then i kind of want to just grappling hook the uh, Sky Captain before it gets any value. Um, before we do any of that, let's draw. <laughs> and Lord of Waste as a, as a follow up is nice. Um, so unfortunately, we can't play it just yet, so we're not going to be able to reduce Spirit Spice by a ton, but that's fine. We should still be able to afford it. No. Yes, we will if we if we just play it. Yeah, if we just care for. Pay attention to the order. So do that. Spikes. Oh my god, I had so much less time than I thought I did. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. 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 There we go. I maybe should have hung this back, but it's fine. Alright, cool. That's what I, Okay, so that's what I'm saying about this deck. <laughs> There's so much to it. But look at that. Look at how explosive of a turn that was. And look at how, how much I want card draw. <laughs> I've honestly been tempted to splash a, a, a single lake for Yulani. All right, so Desert Twister. They're going to get their corruption off, which is a little unfortunate. Let's go for the value clear? I don't know about... Well, I guess Night Collection when they play the other boat, uh, Vile Bloat Fight here. All right. All right, all right. Oop. That's my alarm. 
to I will actually maybe take a quick pause after this game to take care of something uh, relevant to that alarm um, otherwise it's fine I wonder why they switched over to yellow flyers they, they seem to be is it one more emissary in a pretty irrelevant position I understand they didn't want to just immediately play it and have me clear it Ooh, that's Nice-ish. Nice-ish. Um, because it doesn't quite allow me to clear this for free. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Because, yeah, an Emerald Chalamander over here is very sad. Um, do I draw or do I start pushing lands towards them? Because I'm pretty content to short my defenses here. If I draw, there's not really much I'm going to be able to play either. Because uh, they, <laughs> they they went after my collection really hard there. Um, so I'm tempted to just step back. Do it here so I'm protecting face a little better. And oh, if I, I, I could go over the collection. Let's draw because I don't think there's any lands I want to play. That is... Interesting. I don't. Yeah, I don't get a lot of value out of Salamander this turn, regardless. But this is very nice because I can dash onto one of their lands. So I might actually do that. I think I'll clear. Dash over here. Oh god, I'm so glad that went through. <laughs> I meant to have to step this over as well. Um, that's fine, though. Yeah, see, if I had stepped this over, then I could have gotten a better element. Okay, so yeah, less fine. Less fine. <laughs> but still pretty good. Because now we do have an answer if they play another bio blow play. And they need some tricks if they want to clear this. Not that it's a huge ask, but... Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, no, actually, that's a, kind of a huge misplay, not stepping at least one of these two over. Alright. Getting into a fanatic, I'm assuming. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so they have a clear. I don't know why one position was better than the other. <laughs> but yeah, alright, and then play by Wild Bull Fly in a place. Oh, oh, they never did play the follower, that's true. Up up right here. Yeah, we're not out of the woods yet, I suppose. <laughs> Do we play the saddest salamander ever? Oh, that's so frustrating. Yeah, that 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 failing to step over there was a kind of a huge kind of a huge whiff. A cannoneer would go very far right now. But also be yeah, part my my messy lands have also Part of the reason why I'm stuck in this position. Uh, constantly fighting uphill against float flies. <laughs> we'll draw, because there's a few cool things we could draw. Such as. <laughs> um, so th yes, let's just take this down to four, five. But yeah, and we'll get to clear bolt. No, we won't. Why would you get to clear bolt? Oof. Okay, this is tough. Oh, boy, I don't know. I don't know. Do we just weather this? Do we... I think we want more creatures on board, honestly. Yeah, so I think I'll do this. I don't love it. But this gives us more potential to clear more blow flies. And also just... We can set up a... a uh... Going to... Four, five, six. Yeah, so we'll follow up Salamander potentially, although obviously I'd prefer a, a better land for it. Yeah, oh god, I'm. This is the last I'll say. This is the last I'll say about. Oh, they gave up the face hit. No, no, well, one face hit for another. A bigger one, yeah, never mind. Uh, that was perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, sorry. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, that step was. Oh, they got a sticky. They got a sticky creature too. Oof. Yeah, I mean, 
Delphi's is good. It, it is very good. It, it's very good in this deck. It's definitely a, a little jank and a little untested. And there's a follow-up float fly, and their hand is empty now. So no more surprises, at least. Oh no, you're a turn late. You're a turn late. I would have loved to use you on a, on a smaller Rakoan. Um, that said, uh, we still might be able to get some, some goodies out of this. So, yeah, so I tend to have to play another desert, but I should probably play another mountain here, although it's next to another mountain, so it's not ideal, but play a mountain here. Step clear. Um, step clear the 2-2. Two, two. Um, and then we can cannoneer the Bloatfly that hasn't corrupted yet. And that's all pretty good. That all sounds pretty good to me. All right, so. I don't know if a grappling hook features in this at all. Um, but for now, yeah, let's do this. So let's step, clear. Clear. Step on the land. Attempted to pre-hit. I've been taking so much longer with my turns than I thought I was. Clear the non-corrupted one. Um, I'll hit you. It's fine. Maybe it's not fine. I should have made them burn that. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. The free hit that's kind of fine because it's it, now it's a little more set up for a salamander. But there we go. I would prefer to not have this in range of their uh, wind elemental, air elemental even. Um. But yeah, we're contesting. We're contesting and we have a salamander in our future. Um, for, at, for the worst of it, you know? Alright, alright. They got their clear, they got their face hit. And we potentially have the saddest salamander follow-up. <laughs> I'm glad this guy only did this too. So... I don't like dashing this onto one of the deserts. Um, so we probably can draw though, because if we draw, we can draw something cheap. Although we've already played two um, shield mates, two shield mates, one reveler. We could draw a demon wrangler that we won't want to use it. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I think a Reveler is just sort of a massive waste. We're not dying next turn. Um, let's draw. Cannoneer. Yeah, that was the other one I was a little iffy about. We don't have to sack anything. Like, you may sacrifice, so I think I will just... Um, do we play this on the middle land or the back land? Do we play it... Because we're going to be playing the Cannoneer over here anyway, so it'll still be in reach of anything they play here. I just don't know how relevant that'll be. I prefer this to be in reach of collection. Yeah, so we, we will do it that way. Boop. And I could even play this here and step back and collect, but I don't think that's relevant. And so we will not sacrifice and we will pass. All right, they have eight barrier. That's very scary. Um, I wonder if they run any wind soldiers in this list. The way they built their lands implied to me like a minstrel gu uh, guide, but I don't, they're probably not running one. A windborne emissary on the center land right now, or not center land, cent you know, front of orb <laughs> would, would be kind of painful. Although, I think no, it wouldn't be powered up, although they have very easy time powering it up, though. Do we have a salamander in our future? If we collect twice, yes. Is it a good salamander? Probably not, unless they step over, in which case it could be a, a great salamander. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Shade and Monstrosity. I had it. So they are probably running Guide then. You are actually going to get literally nothing off of this if the size. Um, so they probably have a Ghost Dragon. Oh, no, of course they run a Ghost Dragon in, in Monstrosity. I'm surprised this is a Monstrosity list, though. Um, 
All right, so we do have our weird salamander. Oh, we're so close to a grappling hook clear on the monstrosity. That would be lovely. Um, that's not happening though. Yeah, in fact, they probably have lethal next turn because I don't have a way to cover up. I don't have a way to totally like shield, shield up myself. Um, and I can't draw for anything else. Yeah. All right, so we'll do this. Boop. Boop. Uh, I will step over just because. And we'll do the probably second saddest salamander we could. <laughs> There's a ghost dragon, and they probably have the mobility to, to... Oh, no, it doesn't have flying yet, though. No, they have it. Oh, does it twist? Oh, I didn't even think of that. All right, well played. Yeah, we knew that was coming in some form or another. But yeah, cool game. I, I can... I'm, you know, I'm not going to talk about this step anymore. I'm not going to talk about this step anymore. It's... Um... But it could have been the difference maker, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so yeah, I don't... Again, for one of the... Essentially one of the best decks in the format, that is... Not format. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking magic ease. Um, one, of the, one of the best meta decks right now. Maybe not for ladder, but definitely for tournament. Um, although maybe not the monstrosity variant, although that is still very good. Um, we did okay. <laughs> and I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, if it, it fares pretty well, it just, you know, it needs a, it needs a competent pilot. I'm, I'm just, I'm very proud of this deck. They also did have kind of a slow opening, if I'm being honest. Um, but Yellow Fly is, tends to. But yeah, it's, it's just a very fun list. I am, selfishly, I'm going to preserve my rank real quick. Because this is, at least in its current state, at least my current, uh, ability to pilot it. This is not a ladder climbing deck, so I'm going to selfishly go on casual, or not, uh, that's casual, that's practice, um, to, to preserve my rank right now, just, just cause. <laughs> Alright, so I will queue up real quick, and I will mute real, oh, oh, no I won't, no I won't, hold up, sorry, uh, I will be right back to do the thing I said I was going to do, um, so I'll be one second.
All right, I'm back. There we go. Getting back in, back into the position. Um, yeah. All right. So, I'll, I'll, I'll try a few more games with Step Salad. Got the wiggles. <laughs> Uh, let me find the button for that. There we go. All right. Let me actually. I noticed the music was off. Right, excuse me. One second. Sorry. There we go. I noticed the, the music was off for a second there, so I brought that brought that back. So yeah. So let me let me start queuing up again. This time, this time in casual, shamelessly in casual. Um, I want to preserve my rank. But yeah, I'm trying to think. Do I, if I have anything else to mention about the deck? I think a lot of it's pretty self-explanatory. Once like the the main theme is mentioned. But, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I... I mean, I suppose I mentioned this earlier. It could be tightened up a little bit. And the early game is always a bit awkward. But other than that, um... I still really like it. I think it's, I think it's really fun. I think it's really neat. Um, I don't know if it needs more payoffs. Um... I don't know if, the, if there's, like, maybe a better way I could show up the early game. Um, I've strong, been strongly considering Skyward Swordfish, but that's, you know, it doesn't really offer much synergy, it's just a nice value creature, which I know it is a value deck, it's, it, it, to an extent it would be good in it. Sorry. Um, but, yeah, it, it's still, it's still four lands. Yeah, obviously it's too wild, uh, a green and a yellow. So it, it splashes well, it dashes, it taunts. It's it's very useful, it just, you know, is just sort of a creature. Um, it doesn't con contribute to the value engine outside of just being a, a fairly solid creature. It's, it, you know, it's just the, the poor fate of that card. And that, like, it's not bad. It's not bad by any means. It just has a tough time finding its place in, in lists. I, like, if Barrier Ducks were, like, 40 cards or something, it would be in here. It would be in a lot more list, I'm sure of it. But... Yeah. It, 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 may, it probably doesn't have its place in here, to be honest. Yeah, other than that, I don't... Um... Oh, I suppose, yeah. Uh, I've considered doing Garadan, I've considered doing Tethra, like in addition to uh, Majinata. Just because you can get them out a lot earlier. Um, and obviously you don't need to. You're not nearly as punished by a uh, transform effect in blue um, if you have your Reveler Swallow. Um, uh, Majinata. Oh, there we go. So I'm considering it. Kanagawa. Kanagawa, not quite Kamigawa. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm sorry, I bumped the mic. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, I don't even think we hold on to one paradise here. I'm not sure. We're going second, so it's one. We have the barrier. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it. Uh, yeah, it's, all right. it's okay. Green center. Alright. I am t I am tempted to go center. But yeah, that's not really a good idea for this list most of the time. So we will just play... Uh, should I... No, I will play the forest here and then we can probably explore desert. Uh, the well next turn. 
Yeah, I had a feeling they'd be going opposite. Yeah. So. This deck can struggle against mono green. It doesn't necessarily, like, have to. The weird way of phrasing that, but you know what I mean. Um, because we can start, we can start pushing fairly soon, like, you know, because we have the attack matter stuff, so we can sort of shoot over them early, but it does take some, some particular draws. Death touch. Okay. Um, I have no issue playing my, uh, playing my shield mate into that. I don't know if this is some sort of bait. Um, but, yeah. I'm... It's so non-threatening. But I also, I kind of don't want to give Mono Green time to do its thing. So I think I will play Mountain. Press up. Just because we also have the path to, like, shimmy, if need be. But, yeah. Also, I am tempted to play a path with a Chieftain. Uh, just because, you know, 6 various 6, 5, dash 1, it, you know, give everything plus 1, plus 1. Alright, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. You are tiny! That was fast. Okay, 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 okay. So I wonder, actually, if I want the bigger Chieftain or I want the bigger Salamander. I think we probably want to spread the numbers around. Um... Because we can get a pretty pretty big one going. If I just do it right. Also, yeah, now that Queen's Assassin is a pain. Now that's not great. Um, and I certainly don't think I want to Emerald Salamander here, although I could. I might do that, actually. Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> Alright, so... We want to do it this way. Play it here, let it get the buff, and dash down. I was, I was gonna. Oh, it's fine. We did that a little wrong. Um, We'll take the pre hit because this will still get 2 1 afterwards. Lovely. So that's not so scary anymore, although I would have nice if this was bigger. <laughs> um, yeah, like we have to teach and follow up to maybe uh, make the difference there. And we even deny them a little bit of collection. But also, there's nothing stopping them from just playing a second one. <laughs> Alright, sorry, I guess there is barrier wise. There is, but yeah. I think I need to start considering playing lands center with this deck. I don't think it's as bad as I make it out to be. Especially if I don't have a collector immediately. Ooh. Alright, that's a little that's a little less good. Oh, that's a little less good. That's a little more painful. <laughs> We do have the clear on it. We do have the clear on it. Actually, yeah, this is fine actually, because we have the clear and we have the follow up. I do wish I had the grappling hook line, but actually, well, no, because I want to clear this anyways. So let's step, step. Very nice. We will pass this over here. And do we do an aggro shield mates? Don't see why not, and we will do it with a desert, I think. It's interesting. It's definitely interesting. God, I love this deck. It's so fun. That's what I'm saying. It's saying that, like, yes, this deck can absolutely mid-range if it needs to, just because of the generic recoing package. Grove Guardian is not nice. Grubbling. <laughs> the Grubbling is not nice. Yeah, I keep forgetting if I'm running... Um, two or three grappling hooks. I think I am running three, and I. When it's going slower, that's fine. 
when it isn't, um, it's, it can be a little brutal. So we will draw. Oh, that's so painful. We're one off. At least we have the clear on it next turn, but that is, that sucks. That's not great. Does this work the way I think it does? I think actually we can sw hit, use grappling hook, swing around. No, it would die. Sorry, I'm being silly. It would die. <laughs> um, so what we could do is train to the grappling hook, like give up. Because we still have the spot. I might actually do that. I'm stupid. I'm not smart. <laughs> oh no, I forgot it wasn't going to get the buff anymore. I should have gone in here so I couldn't. Re I can still kind of retreat. It's fine. It's fine. It's not great though. Oh, that's that's a that's a little stupid. Um, so at least we can trade leave the token. If we draw any of our sack things, we can make use of it. Um, but they're probably gonna play. Yep, something here because I say yeah, so. That's why I should have gone here instead. Yeah, figured. Figured as much. Oh my god. <laughs> fine. Alright, um, it's not, not going to be able to buff anything else, I suppose. So yeah, we will step up here, we will salamander, and we will, we will cry a little, because uh, this is still very, very bad. Oh, plus one, we'll draw next turn. Alright, we, we just, it won't be this turn thankfully, but we were just waiting for another Oak Father <laughs> to happen. Yakapult! This is an interesting, interesting with heavy air quotes line. Um, I can step over with shield mates, double neutral, grappling hook on the on the salamander to hit the yakapult, and then get in front of it. And then it won't be in range for the deep witch stalker to come and hit it, but it will probably be in range of a yak that gets summoned on either side. Um, and if it does get summoned on this side, then that's going to be a free clear on the shield mates. So let's actually let's draw first. Oh, this is so interesting. The thing is that line would have only cost us three barrio. And would have slowed them down significantly. And now I immediately regret not doing it. Um I don't think they're gonna take their pot shot on this either. So I think I will actually step over. At least make it like predictable that they're gonna hit face. It would've been actually might have been nice to step over here that way. When they step down to double collect, I can grab one and punish this. But it wouldn't be a huge deal one way or the other. But we're gonna be able to mod Denata next turn, no matter what they do. Boar is a little Alright, well they're playing it defensively, that's fine. Um question is, what do we do afterwards? Alright, alright, alright. So this is nice. It's nice and we have everything we need, because we can plus one to do it. I feel it's weird to say it's a waste of a death, because we don't get to use Spirit Spice. Right, maybe we could do the Spirit Spice light and hold on to the Majinata, because then we can always follow up with a, uh, playing it on a Cannoneer. That sounds okay to me. I might need to actually shoot their... I might need to use this cannoneer to threaten this yak, and then just use that to clear the double collector. Although we are double collecting too. Yeah, I think actually I'll do that. Because we're, we're not in a lot of danger right now. And we'll, we'll still be threatening the yakapult. Although it would be nicer to just upright clear it, and then we'd still be threatening the ore. But we just can't let them triple collect. Alright, so tell you what, I will... Plus one. We will play the Cannoneer. Thank you. I forgot we had going to have something in there. Oops. Now 
we have 10 seconds to decide what we're clearing. Um, uh, Echo Pulp still. Oh, you son. You son. Does that work? That still does work. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that worked. That way, Ma did not in there. So they did go for the value clear, which is a little frustrating. <laughs> they gave up the face hit for it. Leveler, you are a turn late. You are a turn late. Oh, I suppose I could have drawn into you. Um... Yeah, I... <laughs> I can beat a hasty retreat and clear the yak at least, I suppose. Low value clear. I know you're just using terms you don't understand. I shouldn't say it. not that you. Do. I don't mean it. I don't mean it that way. But like, it was a high value clear for by their yak. I don't. <laughs> yeah, very funny shotgun. All right. Um. So. I'm going to step back and clear the yak. Step on the forest for now, just because we basically still have collection. Um, a lovely hook. Ooh. I right, had one more feria. Air to next turn is nice. Not that I have a really good way to sack it, but... And I don't see a good point in hanging a reveler. I don't want to not play it either, though. But yeah, we'll, we'll hold off for now. We're in a, this is a weird position. I still think we're pretty unfavored here, uh, but at least it's a funky mono green, so it's a little less wally. But if they play even, yeah, there we go. That's a little spooky. That's a little spooky. We can dance around it a bit. I'm glad I didn't play Rebler now. Um, hmm. So, Aridant's probably not happening this turn. We can't get a Spirit Spice going if by collecting, trading into this, playing a Reveler, sacking it to a Cannoneer. I don't know how worthwhile that is, but we. It's mono green, so I'm not super scared about putting all my eggs in one basket. Um. And we can even try to flee, so we could actually threaten face now. I mean, I'm gonna get taunted to hell and back, but I can't fight this thing on, on even terms, so we will do it this way. Play Reveler. Can I play a land? I think I'd like to play a land for like a sa safer cannoneer deal. Cannon here. Sack you. Ping you so you can't step down. Spirit spikes. Step up all the way here. Start threatening the base. And we're good. We're spare you to spare. <laughs> and some poor grappling hook still. Not made perfect use of up. Uh, yeah, th be this be threatening this was a, a happy, happy accident. <laughs> but yeah, glad to glad to have it. They're not hurting for fairy either. God, if they if they feed the prime primeval blossoms, I don't even know what they're gonna be able to do. Um Step back and defend, step up and attack. I honestly don't think it's that hard of a decision. Um, but we'll see. Oh, I guess if I hadn't made the land for the cannoneer, I could have played it up here, but I yeah, not super looking for that right now in my life. <laughs> Alright, do we have a taunt? They do have a taunt. <laughs> and it's just big enough because I went for the face hit last turn. That is frustrating. Um, okay. Let's draw Lord of Waste. I was actually hoping to draw that. Although we're not going to be able to sack Aridin with it. Aridin, I don't even actually think it's super valuable of a sack right now because we're pretty late into the game. <laughs> um, 
part of the reason why I've been considering cutting him is he's, you know, very swingy, pretty useless late, um, very helpful early. And because I'm not running Time of Legends, I'm not guaranteeing drawing him. Which, of course, I could help encourage that by cutting the Doomgate for that. Because, yeah, imagine drawing Doomgate now, that'd be so useless. <laughs> uh, yeah. Do I, I don't want to play this sort of piece, though, I don't think. We double neutral step up, start threatening here. Yeah, imagine. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, I just don't think I want this here. I just don't think it does much. I wish I could scoot you. I mean, I kind of can. I can grappling hook over here. It's not a lot of value. Uh, sh uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, we will do with. We'll do this plan. Maybe we hang this. Maybe this is what we need. <laughs> we'll go for the pre-hit. It's fine. Um. I wonder if they buff the voice to clear this. That would be frustrating. <laughs> I don't even know how good of a play it is for them. I. I don't think it was worth threading this. I think I probably should have maintained my collection. But we still have enough value going as it is. All right, so we got a clear. But not really a clear on Maginata. Maybe they forgot it had protection. Or they just have another taunt. What do we got? Moby. Uh, you're going to swallow my Aridin? Yeah, I was about to say, maybe... Yeah, I think they planned on swallowing Maginata. Forgot it had Divine, so it can't be targeted. Um, yeah, this is, this is the, I want to say it's the mono greeniest list I've ever seen, but not quite because they didn't have, um, oh, there's the feed on the prime evil titan, no, and there's the goal. that's what I was about to say. They're going hard defense though, they really don't need to, I will, I will lose <laughs> if they, <laughs> if they just go offensive. Alright, where is this guy going? Alright, so now they're splitting it up, they got the barrier to do everything, why are they running his... Yeah, okay, so this is- alright, this explains all the- all the smattering, so they must be a newer- so that's kind of cool, actually, so they- they are definitely a newer player, um, getting as much value into Big Green as they can with their limited, uh, crafts and such, so that's pretty cool. I would love not to just give up the protection for nothing. Ooh, we got jazz. <laughs> I want to play the desert really bad. Or I guess I could desert here. It's not really useful there. Going to make them uninstall. Yeah, I don't think about that. I, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, so we can cannoneer the cannoneer. Or cannoneer the... Yes, cannoneer the cannoneer to clear this. Step over. Be a little safe. Not from Moby, really, though. Um, set up a desert. I really did want to play the Lord of Wastes this turn, but I don't think it's too relevant. So I'm step over here to be mostly safe. Our face hit. And yeah, I, yeah. Ah, oh, they are, they are. Uh, oh wait, no, yeah. Moby can't harvest, so they are tr uh, try collecting, but they're almost quad collecting. And they're gonna make me want to uninstall. <laughs> Brutal. Joke's on you, I want my Aridin- I'm kidding, Aridin at this point would not, not make the cut. Um, even a even a, a buff at this point wouldn't make- uh, except for that buff, that buff doesn't need to target. Um, although that buff does need uh, something other than a desert to step on. <laughs> yeah, we probably don't have this. This is, this is what I'm saying, we need to beat mono green early. Because now this is just more health than this deck could possibly ever hope to combat. Um, it was a good run, though. <laughs> um, so I don't believe two Jason enemy creatures. Yeah, so this won't... 
Blazing Salamander does, I believe, hit enemies. So if I played a Blazing Salamander next to face, it would deal damage. But this one will not. This will just buff Maginata. Um, and they'll still be in clear range of this. I'm trying to think what I could possibly... What I could possibly draw <laughs> to get me out of this situation. I was hoping for an early Doom Gate. Yeah, I mean, it would have been. It would have been cool. Also, Anterio? I think, I think I'm think i hoping that I'm that right. All right, we're just gonna, we're, sorry, we're just gonna step over and do this real, real quick. Boop, boop, boop. All right, and this is probably going to be the end, though. Apologize for roping. <laughs> Yeah, welcome to the stream, Ankario. Uh, yeah, early Doom Gate would have been cool. Definitely. Um, would have been able to make better use of... Alright, yeah. There we go. Goodbye. 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 It's... We got no creatures on board. We got no hope. Yeah, and honestly, anything other than the... Triple grappling hook would have been nice. You are oh, and there tiny. we go. Yeah. So. And I'm not running flame burst or anything in this list. Alright. We'll draw. And we don't even have enough parry to do this little thing. Alright, well played. That was that was a fun game. I'm assuming for playing uh, yellow creatures. All right, <laughs> I think yeah, because it's almost a, it's almost 11 uh, p.m. where I where I'm at, and I still got work in the morning. So I'm gonna give this one more game, uh, and then we'll probably call it. But yeah, definitely. This is what I'm saying. The deck needs some tweaking. Um, for the longest time, I thought I was already only running two grappling hooks, but I guess not. But yeah, probably could cut the grappling hook for another splashier play um again just some mix and matching with the aridens the doom gate um the extra grappling hook all that sort of deal to get this where where i want it to be either do that for some skyward swordfish or a tethra or a uh, garden might be nice or maybe even just some cyber's wrath would do would do some good um but yeah on the whole still I, I do just love this deck. I'm very I'm very proud of what it's become. I'm honestly using what I've learned from this list. I'm kind of tempted to go back and um, remake the just the red yellow version. Um, this with the Lord of the Waste, the Demon Wranglers. I can run some Satan Scavengers or whatever they're called. The ones that um are not no that's not what they're called actually. I can look this up while we queue. Um, just the ones that, uh, just, you play them for three, and when they die, you get two. Peria. Uh, Death Wish School with this guy. Um, and that way I can run, more, more freely run three grappling hooks, run Cypher, um, who loves grappling hooks, um, run, go back to actually running Cobalt Barracks. I think, uh, I keep, I've been calling Barracks this whole lot. Time. The old deck was called Base Camp, not Barracks. Um, and yeah, and, and do that sort of deal. Still run Reveler, still run Chieftain. Yeah, it honestly might be more consistent just being two colors. Um, but I, I still love this deck as it is, so I might just have both existing at the same time. <laughs> But yeah. Pop back in. Uh I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have some water real quick while we while we wait. Maybe two seconds.
Never mind. I, I left my water. I left. <laughs> I brought my water with me when I went to go do my thing, and I did not bring it back up. So, never mind. I, w I guess that's the other thing about this list is not always, but games can definitely be a little uh, grindier and slower. It's I definitely wouldn't call it control. Maybe it will become control once I once I make the changes, once I. Uh, have those ciphers wrapped in and, and whatever else I feel like putting in. I don't think I can fit a, a nightmare because I don't want to lean that far into deserts. Yeah. I guess maybe like I was mentioning way earlier, maybe Hellfire would be more appropriate if I went for a more control angle. Um, obviously less for burn and more for clear, but yeah. Obviously Choking Sand. Maybe not obviously. Choking Sand has is not very good at the moment and hasn't been for a little bit here. So, although I could probably justify it land cost-wise, I don't think it would be worth running. Mm, oh, wait. There we go. As a cure. A neat name. I've been running into a lot of neat names tonight. Been fun. A lot of new names actually too, which, which has also been been nice. Um, obviously at the lower range. Ooh, I think we. Can... Oh, hello. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I have been I have been kindly delivered my water. <laughs> Alright, play second. Okay, so yeah, so that's that's all right. Oh no, not if we draw the second path. Oh no. That, okay, this is gonna be a little slow. Alright, so give me two seconds. Alright, your opponent mercifully took a little longer with their turn than they probably should have. So we will do it. Uh, maybe we'll do it. Oh no, how do we do this? I think I want to go a little aggressive. Maybe not. I'm giving all their aesthetic. I'm assuming they're. Yeah, this mod. Oh, they might be. They might be red, yellow, burn. We do okay. Uh, okay, so that makes the double paradise a little less painful, but not... Mm, actually, no, it doesn't at all, because I don't want to build a mil million mountains right now. Um, so we're going to slow play this a little bit. Do this. If they want to waste a Cypher's Wrath on it, they can. Uh, this one, next one's probably going to be a desert, but we will wait for now. Uh, maybe I should actually still just play this for collection. We're a little behind. Like, Swore sort of makes up for it. So, yeah, they are. Yeah, so for Collection, I probably should have played it. Oh, I guess they would have wasted it on the one attack one. This is my, where's all that 10th area? I, I don't even know what I'm worried about. Um, and what I'm worried about is this is there for just Red Yellow Burn. Alright, we'll see how we fare. We have so much Faria, so I'm not super worried. I'd rather get some value out of the Reveler, to be honest, so I'll hold off. Especially since we have the spice in hand. Cool, cool, cool. And I've been waiting to have an excuse to pat the Paradise Chieftain. Um, well, making desert with it is sort of unfortunate, but not really horrible. Um, do we play that behind, I wonder? Because I guess I could forest. Forest. No, I don't want to forest there. If I could. No, I could forest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I want to be a bunch of value. Yeah, because they still get their burn, so I don't want to do that. Maybe I want to fight for the well spot a little more. I think I will do this. I could even... do it this way, I think. 
Make a mountain. Build the forest. It's even up this way. And we will pause on the reveler until we have a chance to just play it here and use it. <laughs> so we don't have the option to step back and double collect anymore. But we, at least we have the clean clear on it. And the buffs to anything else. I guess they could still, because they have a lot of area too, they could they could definitely clear this if they wanted to. I would definitely would have liked a little more board presence. Oh, you know, I guess I could have played the reveler back here or over here to collect. But again, I still, I just don't want it to go to waste necessarily, especially since we've been so, uh, behind, I guess. All right. Shaker. Shaker. Hidden Cypher's Wrath? Yes, no? We might just have to... <laughs> we might just have to full price Spirit Spice. That's a that's a tongue twister. Uh, next turn. Because I don't want them necessarily getting that much value out of... Uh, the Ground Shaker. By just knocking us down one health point, but we'll see. Nope, they're going for the clear now. Alright, oh, that's a little painful. That's a little painful, we invested a lot into that. Alright. Knowing that, yeah. So... Play this, play this. Pay four. Gain one, go up to seven. This will cost six at that point. So we can buff something. <laughs> I don't know how worthwhile that is, but I'm kind of tempted to start going down the other side rather than trying to contest this since it's can't collect anyways and it's not really going to have any useful place to place lands. Um, actually, why are they running that? I didn't. I just realized cause it's going to hurt them a bit, but I guess maybe they're also running Wranglers. Uh Hmm. Charge three is powerful. I should maybe consider a little bit more. I mean this spot is still good. Yeah, I but I would love to draw. I really would prefer to draw, but we're gonna do it this way. For better or for worse. We are putting all our eggs the yeah, all our eggs in our one basket against red. Which is not great. At least we well, we have the potential to tr triple collect next turn. I'm not betting on it. But yeah. Painful, it's still not power powerful enough to clear a uh a uh, ground shaker or a uh, cheat and brute. What? We were still. I think we were still playing. Yeah, no, we were definitely still. That was our first one of the night because we were still playing red, uh, green, red, angry. All right. Um. So I'm assuming that means they have another ground shaker. So I don't mind stepping this back for now. Although I don't. I don't want them to have a land here. I will gladly take my uh, collection though. Collection, and I'm tempted to place an aggressive land, although I think I kind of I just want to draw. Bomb Slinger would also be painful, although I don't know why they'd be running it. Oh, you know what we can do? I see, I'll do that. I will do that. I'll do this. This still dies to a ground shaker, unfortunately. Actually, let's do this first. Let's see where this fly that thing ends up. <laughs> oh, son of a that's not great. Oh boy. Well, I still think I do this probably. To refresh it. Oh wait, it's just instead to it. Cypher's Wrath, I guess. That's not great. We don't we don't love that. <laughs> I 
I want to do nothing but draw for the next a million turns. So they're not going to use that to place the land. So that's nice. This is about the only good news I've had all day. <laughs> um, Clean's training. That seems pretty bad value, my dude. Unless you have the... Like, you must have the clear on the on the Wrangler, right? You're playing another ground shaker? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Shieldmates is okay. We can draw. Do all the drawing we would ever want. <laughs> um... I feel like the Nat is threatening this. Um, so we'll move this into double collection for now. Oh, I don't like the Nat being here, but it'd be such a waste of resources to clear it. Rather move this into double collection, we might just need to take it. Um, I think probably I want Cannon here up here. This is a slightly bigger body. Um, so I'm gonna be sacking the Reveler. Or not Reveler, the um God, I wish it were Reveler. Not that much actually, but shield mates. Um okay, we can play that over here. Do you threaten fly? I keep calling it fly, it's called it's Nat, but yeah. Ping you. Here. We got a good thing going. <laughs> For the most part. <laughs> Could have quad collection if for some reason they gave up the um the clear on the uh the Cohen token. But I don't really see them doing that. I did not have that near my face anymore. I'm glad they gave up the land placement. I'm not, again, not super surprised. Um, but, you know, I'm assuming they plan to play Scourge Flame at some point. So, uh, I, I think it might have been worthwhile. They have their own Doom Gate. All right, so that explains the Nats. Architect. Okay. I played a Doom Gate. Alright. Please, just draw into removal. Please. <laughs> Punish my, my stupid demon wing. Yeah, they found it. <laughs> Alright. We did draw our own <laughs> I don't think I win the race. Just because they can now sack their architect, they have infinite sacks on Nat. Um, the best I can do is I can actually play my Doom Gate in front of there, so they can't just immediately dash it to hit my face. <laughs> Which is honestly still a pretty good idea, as far as I'm concerned. Awesome. Awesome? Not awesome. We have tons of Faria, so it doesn't really- it depends on what we draw off of this, but... you kind of want to do I, I, I this isn't the most valuable thing i could do here but it does slow them down on their on their doom gate plan why didn't i just keep a collect oh this is why because i'm stupid lucky all the time <laughs> except when i'm not got some jamming got some jamming from shaka i would love to i would love to trigger this doom gate but it's just, it in all likelihood is not going to happen how many shield mates have we played so far? Two... One. No, just one, just one, just one. We had two Revelers earlier. Um... Oh, you lucky! <laughs> I, I'm great, I don't think it makes that much of a difference in the long run. But, yeah, that's a little... That's unfortunate. Because now they have their free pings on my... On my Doom Gate. Oh, we're both on 13 health too, that's kind of funny. It, yeah, 
I mean, it's for situations like this that the Doom Gate is in the list. Just so I can have all those really aggressive draws if I draw any Revelers or any Shieldmates. But yeah. Still not ideal. Aridin is interesting. It's very expensive. I don't want to build a land, but I, I wish I'd honestly had uh, drawn something to play here. This is definitely a, a vote for... Yeah, honestly, the biggest vote for the um, Swordfish is when I actually am start... When, yeah, when I do actually start pushing face, because it's a good... It's a perfectly fine aggressor and a perfectly fine defender if they start racing. I don't know how much value Aridin gives for me at this point. But also just stepping in here and just dying to, I, like, this face hit does nothing right now. So we'll draw as much as I want to, like, have something to play here. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's why. That's why. So we will do this. We will, we will hold the line for now. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming they're just going to take their hit on my Doom Gate and then sack. I don't know, maybe I, I might be undervaluing Aerid in here that, you know, ev everything in my deck being a little stronger from here on out is pretty nice. Oh, you know what? Oh, I should have stepped this back in case I drew a grab. Oh, no, they're right. They have Monster Goth. They have Monster Goth, and they're going to use it to clear my uh, Chieftain. Oh, no, they just have Lethal. All right, well played. <laughs> Did not expect the Monster Goth to win. I hope, I hope they get... Uh, they either already have or they got the achievement for that. I don't think I even have the achievement for that yet. Yeah. I, you know what? I, I feel a little silly because like that wasn't that obviously wasn't red yellow burn. That was <laughs> that was just red yellow doom gate. Um, explains the ground shakers, explains the grim guards, but not the sheeting brutes, architects. Nats. That yeah, that all adds up now. That was GG's good night. Thanks. <laughs> Thank, uh, let me try and Curio. And Curio? I'm still not sure about your name, but yeah, yeah, GG's. <laughs> Have a good one. Yeah, definitely uh, we're wrapping it up now. GG's. What was my win rate then? I think I think I went like one in five, two in five, something like that. <laughs> Ugh, not great. <laughs> the usual, not the usual. <laughs> but yeah, if I do more of a, a ladder climbing stream, um, I also will probably climb ladder a little bit on my own time. But yeah, we'll probably run something. About, I'll, I'll probably do some blue jump, something a bit more competitive. I also want to dip my toes in red combat a little bit more so that's also a very reliable strong list for ladder climbing and for tournaments if i end up uh doing those again but yeah so i will call it here <laughs> thanks thanks everybody who, who dropped by uh it's it's really is nice to get back into streaming but um yeah let me see i don't think there's anybody online for me to raid and also not really many people to raid with. Yeah, I'll just call it here, I think. So, yeah, have a good night, everyone.